Um, so I heard about it first. Uh, Dr. Sarah O'Neill, the head of the research program, was a lecturer of ours in First Med, and she told us about the program, and then I further looked it up on the RCSI website. Um, and so the application process, they do a list of the available projects. So I looked at the projects, you kind of pick maybe two or three that you're interested in, and you email the principal investigator on the project, and then they give you further information. You have to give your CV and give a, a few reasons why you're interested in the project, basically. So my project is a kind of a, a review-based project, so I'm, I'm more based in an office rather than in the labs. Um, it's joined on to it's the Irish National Adverse Events Study, so it's actually a really interesting study that's been going on for, I think, five or six years at this stage, and I'm kind of coming in at the tail end of it now. So I'm doing, it's a review of the types of adverse events that happen to patients in hospitals all over the country, and the kind of the general patient characteristics of those patients that experience adverse events. Really, really interesting topic. It's a really public interest kind of topic because there it'll be big main national hospitals. It'll be released as, as a public interest piece, basically. Um, so my part then is I'm doing a review of the specific patient characteristics and specifically the medication links with the patients and the adverse events. Um, I suppose initially it's nice to get a taste of what actual research in, in a college environment is like. Um, it's also nice, I suppose, to get interaction with, the, with, say, Professor Williams and the other researchers outside of a, a lecture environment. It's a lot more informal. There's a lot more scope to have a discussion about what their work is and hopefully what kind of my future work will be. So that would be general. And then I suppose it's a brilliant thing to have onto your CV. I'm hoping to get a paper published out of it. So fingers crossed.